One day, the fat controller arranged with Thomas the Tank Engine to take his wife and grandchildren to the seaside. The sun shone and everywhere looked splendid. But Lady Hat was feeling hot and tired. She took her troubles out on Annie and Clarabel. Those coaches are old and uncomfortable. Why don't you use them as beach huts instead? Thomas was most upset. You won't let them turn Annie and Clarabel into beach huts, will you? Of course not, Thomas, replied his driver. But I must admit, they could be smartened up. The next day, the fat controller used Percy to take his family to Harold's airfield. They were just about to board Harold when it happened. What? Where's that? gasped the fat controller. That's Tiger Moth, rumbled Harold. It's rude and flies much too low. Sure can see. Please take us up, Harold, before there's another disturbance. A few days later, Harold arrived at their holiday home with bad news. It's Tiger Moth said Harold's pilot. It's gone missing. Do you wish to join the search with us? I think I'd better. Tiger Moth, called the fat controller. Then he spoke to the pilot. You were showing off and flying dangerously. I will speak to your controller and request that you are grounded. Yes, sir, replied the pilot. Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall return to my holiday. Jolly good idea, sir. The fat controller had arranged to meet up with Toby and Henrietta to take them somewhere special. They arrived at a small river inlet. What a beautiful boat, exclaimed the children. It's my special treat. The fat controller took the helm with his wife beside him. It's sure nice to be away from the railway for once, he said to her. And far cleaner, she replied. But life on the river is very different from that on the rails. The family were enjoying themselves so much that they forgot to watch where they were going. Botheration, said the fat controller. We're stuck. And they were. Other boats tried to pull them off the mud bank, but it was no use. Percy saw the commotion and stopped. Is there anything we can do to help? called his driver. Yes, indeed there is, replied the fat controller. This is the life, isn't it, dear? Soon they arrived at a small station. There was Thomas with Annie and Clarabel, who were looking as smart as their new paint inside and out. My! exclaimed Lady Hat. What splendid coaches! So much more suitable than those old beach huts on wheels. No one said a word. But that evening, Annie and Clarabel spoke to Thomas. It's very nice to get compliments, but no matter what we look like, we'll always be useful, won't we, Thomas? Of course, their friend replied. <laughs>